Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel and today one of my filmmaking friends just purchased the new GoPro Hero 10 and we used the beautiful weather to test out all the features. Obviously we hadn't got the time or the budget to travel that much or filming those crazy sport events like you saw in the advertisement, but of course we tested the quality, the Hypersmooth 4.0, all the new specs, the slow motion, the microphone quality and we also did a quick comparison to the previous model. So first of all we would highly appreciate if you guys liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you like those types of videos. So like I said in the advertisement about the new GP2 processor, everything's smoother, everything's faster, that's definitely true. Even if you turn on or turn off the camera, every time you will save a second. And if you wanna say, wow, one second, that's like nothing, you know what kind of beautiful stuff you can miss in just one second. So that's definitely a big pro for me. And like they advertise as well, the touch feature is way smoother than before. Everything works faster and easier, like on the previous model I had to click multiple times to get that right. And here I don't have any mistakes on the touch screen anymore. And for the specs we have a lot of cool stuff coming up. So first of all you can save 3 resolution shortcuts, which is absolutely amazing for quick use. You can easily switch between them for a different use. And also on the side you can just scroll up or scroll down for a quicker slow motion use. And yes, that 4K 120 looks absolutely amazing. Oh, if you go for a super 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 slow motion you will have 2.7K with 240 frames per second. And you know what's also a crazy cool feature? If the camera screen becomes dirty, you can easily clean that with your closes. It just takes a second while the previous model still stays dirty. And that's one of the biggest pros in my opinion, because I had so many issues with non-usable footage because of a dirty screen. Because you know, if you're in a hurry, you don't have that time to clean the sensor after every shot. Okay, let's head up to the Hypersmooth 4.0. So you can change it from non to standard to high and also to boost, which is the new feature. But also, here we got our first bug. So as we use it the first time we saw on the screen that the footage is super laggy and shaky, still if you activated that boost. So we had to restart the camera and then it was fixed. But we had that bug twice within just one hour of shooting, so I hope it's just a software bug which can be fixed by an update. So dear GoPro, if you're gonna see the video, please fix that. But let's head up to the test. So we did a comparison with the previous model while I was running and chasing the drone. We also did the same with the Sony FS5 on one of the top gimbals on the market, the DJI RS2. And there you can clearly see how super smooth that Hypersmooth 4.0 exactly is. We also captured a video with extra super shaky hands like you can see here. And yeah, I can say that again, that Hypersmooth feature is absolutely crazy. We also attached the camera on our car and as you can see the mount wasn't the best, it was super shaky and, and we also had a super bumpy ride. And it is still smooth. And then we did another test on the microphone quality. And yeah, that audio is absolutely insane for a small action camera. Uh, now we're gonna do a quick audio comparison between the GoPro Hero 10 and the GoPro Hero 7. Uh, now we're gonna do a quick audio comparison between the GoPro Hero 10 and the GoPro Hero 7. And as you can see, the GoPro Hero 10 captures way, way, way better details and colors. And yes, of course, there are a lot of more features like the live streaming and so on. But that isn't something we're gonna use or need anyway, so we didn't go for that one. So is the GoPro Hero 10 the best action camera in the game? Definitely yes. Of course it had some bugs, but I'm pretty sure GoPro can fix this with some updates really soon. And all these new features are absolutely insane and it's a big game changer in the action cam history. So the leggy screen we had was the only con we can find at this camera, but it got easily fixed by a restart, so if I had to rate it in stars, the camera is definitely a 9.5 of 10. So would I recommend buying this? Yes. Do I buy one for myself? Yes, definitely. Okay, so that was all for today, you're definitely gonna see that camera more often on our channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and find it useful, if yes, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and see you in the next video. Peace out.